Let's talk about the mechanics as well as major attack in the first tier 3 Abyss Dungeon, RS Oculus. As always, I do stream Lost Ark on Twitch, so don't forget to follow me on Twitch as well. Anyway, let's get started. The first boss has a very very simple mechanics. Every time that you stagger the boss, he will gain a buff that increases his attack. If this buff reaches 3 stacks, he will start to do one shot attack, so you must prevent it from reaching 3 stacks. Some of his attack will leave a purple field on the ground, which if you stand on, you get a debuff that decreases your stagger level but also increases the amount of damage you take. For a class with high stagger like Berserker, this buff could be very useful to prevent yourself from staggering too much. Otherwise, the attack to watch out for is this attack where he swing in the four corner direction and then he'll do a giant slam right in front of him. And every second time that he does this, he'll also follow up with a grab. By purposely standing in front of him, he'll grab onto you and this will begin the stagger check. Completing this stagger check will remove one of his stacks of the buff and this is another way you can prevent him from reaching free stacks. Otherwise, as always, red circles equals bad, so just dodge all of red circles, which is really important for the second boss. Moving on to the second boss, this boss does not have any major mechanics, however he simply does a lot of attack that is very deadly. We won't be covering every single attack, however we'll simply cover the major ones that might be harder to dodge. Starting off, if the boss start with this slow walk animation, you should start running away from the boss immediately because he will then spawn a ball and start chasing after you. Fortunately, he will fall off right after and then you'll get a small amount of DPS uptime. If the boss jump onto a ball, your entire party should immediately spread out. This is because he will follow up with free air strike attack, which you can dodge by just walking in very slowly. The hula hoop attack, he will throw the two hula hoop in a straight line and then they will spin around him continuously. Uh, it's really easy to get caught by this because you forget that they're still spinning, so just watch out for that. If the boss jump to the middle, he will do a major ball attack. You and your party should spread out and start destroying all of these balls immediately. If there are enough ball at the end of this mechanics, then the boss will do a raid wipe one shot attack. The DDR attack should be very self explanatory. Input the sequence you see on the screen and then immediately run away from the boss before he does his giant AoE explosion. Finally, in the love attack which only happens in phase 3, 3 of your player will get paralyzed and one of your remaining player must hit them out of the paralyzed before the giant AOD fall on top of them. Shortly after the AOD attack land, the player who was not previously paralyzed will now get paralyzed and you must do the exact same thing before the next wave of AOD come. That's pretty much conclude the entire boss fight, a rather straightforward boss fight, just hope that your eyes doesn't hurt from the background of the circus. But with that being said, as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hopefully you have fun fighting the boss, and of course, as always, see you guys next time.